Yeah, look, uh, for me, it's uh, as a, as an immigrant, as a, as a young person, um, as a as a dreamer, right? As a as a kid that 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 wanted to be this one thing. I can honestly tell you, from the time that I was three years old, I knew that I was going to play soccer. That's the one thing that I wanted to do. And now I understand that there's a lot of people that have the same dream. They work tirelessly, they sacrifice, they do all the right things. And somehow it's just not what's meant for them. But for, I, I don't know why I just had the, I was undersized. I was poor. I grew up in a developing country. The odds were completely stacked against me. Right. But somehow I just knew that there was, there was a way uh, that this was going to happen. Yeah. I just felt that in my bones when, you know, when people ask me, um, what plan B, what do you think you would have been if if you hadn't played soccer, I, my I don't have a response. I I truly honestly don't have a response because, for me, uh, maybe it was the, the 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 being naive or the you know just not being still wet behind the ears. There was no option B. I never even thought about it. For me, failure was not even anywhere near the map, right? And so uh, that for me allowed to gain a mentality while I was growing up. The, uh, almost assuming that this was, was, this was what, it, uh, what I was meant to do. Um, when I got there and one of the, one of the hard things to do is to get there. The hardest thing to do is to stay there, right? Once you arrive is, is to stay there. Um, and it became a mission of, you know, wanting to keep your chair and little by little, it became less, it, it gravitated less ab about what it was for me or, or that it wasn't meant for me. It was meant for what I could do with that chair, right? And so I was a young parent by the age that I was, by the age of 25, I had my first one. My wife and I ultimately ended up having three, three children, but it, it was like turning a light switch on. All of a sudden, when my first one was born, I understood the, the, what being a parent was, right? And, and what being able to provide was about and what being able to protect was about and what having a centered family and having a nucleus and having something that you gravitate towards every single day when you wake up, uh, I under I started understanding what that was about. And that sort of shed light on a variety of other things. One of the greatest things that my wife and I uh, ever did was to get involved with the with one of the campaigns from the United Nations. This came through somebody, a parent from one of the kids soccer teams who we kind of were friends with. Um, they asked us, for example, why soccer didn't have anything to do with one of the bigger killers in the world, which was malaria, right? At the time, back in the early 2000s, malaria was killing a child every 30 seconds just because of a mosquito bite. And nobody in the States knew about it. Nobody was involved. Nobody really did much except for nonprofits and larger organizations. The regular citizens, regular Joe didn't know about it. Uh, professional sports weren't really involved with it. And so it was something that we felt it was a, a it was a powerful message just to have somebody donate a little bit of money. A trip to Starbucks is what a bed not, what a bed net would cost, and so we took it upon ourselves to start really carrying that. Mission. And little by little, we started really raising some meaningful money through the team. Then we were accompanied by Major League Soccer itself. Then it became something larger. So we were now partnered up with the United Nations Foundation and with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and with U.S. Soccer and with FIFA. And it ultimately became an official campaign for the 2010 World Cup, which was United yeah. Against Malaria. And so that little thing raised millions and millions of dollars and um, ultimately it have, ended up having great, great impact. So just an example of when you open your mind at, you know, what the things that God can do, uh, and the way that 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 he can utilize uh, what you're doing, the spot, the moment in time, the people around you, uh, it can it can really do some powerful things.